Hello Stamper, welcome to Frenchie's video. Well today I'm going to show you how to do a punch art that make the Batman. Um, it's tricky a little bit, so I would say you can practice maybe on a scrap paper. This was my first attempt and you see it's off a bit, you know, the center, but I figure he's flying so I'm good. So let's get started. First thing you're going to need, it's your um, frame lids, the oval one, and that's the one in the spring catalog on page four. It's the oval collection. So again, it's on page four in the spring catalog. So usually when I start count counting, I start from the inside going out. So I'm using number uh, four and five, because one, two, three, and the black would be four. It go right there, Can you see? And then my yellow, this one I'm using daffodil on my card, I use so saffron. This would be five. So again, I'm using four and five for uh, the framelits, the oval one. So after you cut this out, and when you cut that out, you want the way that it works, you put all your tap one and two, your clear plate. Then you put your piece of cardstock with your uh, framelit. Oops, let's grab one here. Well, I'm having a mess here. So you would put your framelits, and the raised part, the part that it's raised, is going to go down. Then the other um, clear plate, run it through your big shot. Yes, all tap one and two, and the to clear plate. Make sure that the raised part of your framelit go face down on your card uh, card stop. Okay, let me move this. Now, what you're going to need, the only punch that I'm using, it's the oval punch. Not the oval punch. That's the oval framelit, but the window punch. I'm going to try to guess about where the center is and really you could measure it so that would be about mm, here my center it's about here what I'm going to do I just guess this to me going to do one move it a little bit do another one see then I'm going to turn this here go on the other way go one and then go to okay I need to raise this one a bit more much better so I need to go on this side so I just play with it a little bit and then go right here so now on the top I just gonna go down Facing this way, I'm going to go there, turn it around, and then I'm going to go there. See, it's off a bit. Don't worry about that. What I'm going to do is fix them up. I'm going to take this, do a point, and then let me cut this a bit and do a point. Let's move this up. Here we go. So now it's off a little bit there. I get that snip. Voila! I got my Batman. So it's no right and wrong way. They're all going to look different. So this is how i done my Batman. This is it for now. Till next time, happy stamping!